Do something intelligent! G'day viewers, it's Fles here. Today I've brought the Dirty D-Max up to Harvey Bay, up to the Urangan Pier where I hope to catch some herring. Herring is great bait, uh, I love it for uh, all sorts of fish, especially uh, snapper and reef fish. Uh, so they freeze well, so hopefully I can get a, quite a few of them and take them home and use them for the upcoming snapper season. So if you uh, like fishing, you like catching bait, uh, I'll show you how to catch herring today. The first thing you need to do to catch herring at the pier is to buy some bait jigs. There's a tackle shop at Yerangan that always has a good supply. You need the smaller size jigs. They sell plenty of them, so they're usually on the counter. The Yerangan Pier is 850 metres long, so it's a fair walk out to the end. There's a large sandbank about halfway out that is exposed at half tide. On higher tides you can catch herring in the channel before the sandbank, but most times it's necessary to walk out towards the end of the pier. There's a few simple tricks to improve your chances of catching herring. Number one is that you'll only catch them in daylight, so there's no need to get up before sparrow fart. They have soft mouths, so it's best to use a whippy rod to stop hooks from pulling out as you lift them from the water. Even at the end of the pier, the water is only about five or six metres deep. You'll find herring anywhere it's deeper than two metres. You'll only catch them when the tide is running, so try to avoid the very top and bottom of the tides. Don't use too big a sinker on the jigs. You'll improve your catch if the sinker easily lifts off the bottom and moves with the tide. Always cast the upstream side of the pier and let the jigs work their way back towards you. Never drop them into the water so they drift away from you. Like most fish, herring like to feed facing the current where the food comes to them. Be careful not to get your jigs hooked around the pylons. When the tide slows they will spread out away from the pylons but they become much harder to catch. If the water is clear, usually on a rising tide, the schools of herring can be easily seen. Don't be discouraged if the water is a little dirty, they could still be there in large numbers. The best technique is to cast away from the pier and gently work your jig back towards the pylons with the sinker bumping along the bottom. Sometimes you'll get a fish on every hook, then you might have a tangled mess of line, jigs and fish. A real mucking fess. So it's best to have a few spare packets of jigs if you don't have a lot of patience. I hope you found this video useful. Good luck catching a supply of herring for bait on your next trip to Harvey Bay.